curiosities, you whimsical wordsmiths, and welcome to my room. It is Wordy Wednesday, and today we are going to talk about one of my favorite words, which, like most of my favorite words, is really just because it's fun to say, and that word is insidious. Insidious, of course, meaning that something is proceeding in a subtle or gradual way, but with uh, harmful results. Poison is often insidious. Mm. Now, this word actually comes from two pie roots, and if you can't remember what a pie root is, go back to the murder! And by that I mean literally the murder wordy Wednesday that we did, um, <laughs> where I explain uh, the basics of pie roots. Uh, just to refresh your memory, pie stands for Proto-Indo-European language. Um, obviously, pie, the, the L's not there, but Proto-Indo-European and then language is not the point. Um, so the two pie roots that we are focusing on today are N, which uh, means in, and sed, which means to sit. These two uh, informed the Latin uh, in, which weirdly means more on than in, don't know why. And um, sedere might be not how it's pronounced, but uh, they do say Latin's a dead language. Yet we still use it. So is it really dead? I feel like it just evolved. Like it's like become the X-Men. Like it, that's what normal humans are. And now like current English and all these other languages are just mutation. Evolution. I'm getting off track. Uh, Sider means just sit. These two Latin roots became insider, which meant to lie in wait. And that informed insidai. I'm going to pronounce a lot of bad things wrong. I'm so sorry. Um, which was an ambush or a trick. And that would then eventually inform insidious, which meant cunning. Um, and that would eventually become the Middle French um, insidire, um, which basically means uh, insidious as we know it today. Um, and around from there, it would become oddly back again to insidious around the 16th century for English, um, where it has the meaning that we know it today. Oh, words, lots of, words are hard sometimes, you guys. Words are just, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> um, ah. But uh, thank you so much for joining me um, through this harried time. Lots is going on so much. My October is crazy. Um, if you are in the Spokane area, I hope to maybe see you this weekend. Uh, if not, I hope to see you next weekend for AuthorCon. Um, and my brain is mush. My brain is mush. And that's pretty much all I wanted to say. So I love you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. And most importantly, please... Stay curious. <laughs> Bye.